Welcome back to another video folks. Uh, here I'm showing you a, a objective marker that I've made. Um, it's um, a little bit more extravagant than an objective marker that you would normally use in a game but I wanted to make a sort of miniature diorama. Uh, as you can see it's an Octite Stug knocked out by the Yanks and I have a figure on top being the individual responsible, and that is Bazooka Joe. A bit corny, but um, a lot of the propaganda was corny in the, in the Second World War, to be honest. So, we've got him standing on top of his prize, and we've got some of his compatriots having a look at his handiwork. And one down the front there, just keeping an eye on things, making sure the crew who've abandoned the, the Stug don't return. Um, and you can see I've put a lot of uh, track armour on the front. I've got some tarps. It's common to stop water coming in, or cold coming in. I'm not sure which, but certainly there's a bit of protection against the elements. There's the, um, the tarp which is sitting over the, the mantlet cover, and then you can see just a, some abandoned items and stowage which has kind of rattled up into the, um, the back of the superstructure. This to get sail was knocked out from the rear and then just. Um, roll down the slope you can see there one reason I wanted to do that was to give it a bit of height and to allow this on the back I'm going to do a few more uh, a few more objectives inspired by this perhaps with unit insignia and the theatre um, descriptions like Normandy or Kursk or something like that. This was a good start. This is another one of my um, side projects that I just felt my way through. Did a bit here and a bit there. The tank was painted a long, long time before the base was even started. Um, so there's things that can be improved upon. I quite like it, and this is going to be a gift to my uh, recent battle report buddy. He's got an American army, so this can be a nice objective for him. Uh, the, the stick is certainly it's not glued in place. Uh, for storage, the height of it would make it very difficult to transport it in a bag, so I've left it out, um, left it off, sorry. So it can be transported in two different bits, and then put any place on the day. I mean, if this went to a, an, an event, it'd be really for armies on parade more than um, for use in the game of flat object is much more practical. But there you go, there's a, a, a little idea to brighten up your objectives, put a bit of story and character into them, and it's something that I can see myself doing a few more of in the near future. Uh, incidentally, the... Um, the Stug's been painted with Valesio as opposed to Tamiya and then I, very much against what I normally do, I wash the entire surface with a brown enamel wash and then highlighted it and you can see some streaking um, on the side panels as well otherwise there's not really a lot of weathering uh, being done to it There you go folks, hope you like it, maybe gave you a few ideas of your own.